What's up, everybody? Here I am at the iMac, going to be talking about the first impressions of Mac OS Mojave. I had up, upgraded from High Sierra to Mojave on both my MacBook Pro and my iMac. And I'm doing it with the iMac. This is actually version 10.14, which came out not long ago. And it actually works really great. Never had a problem with it on both the iMac and the MacBook. I even though I did a backup on the MacBook on the MacBook Pro, which is my other daily driver. And so most of the time I use this computer a lot for video editing and mostly watching a lot of HD videos and Stuff that the MacBook Pro can't handle. Well, as you may notice, I actually got it in stealth mode, and this is the new background, which is pretty unique about the Mac OS Mojave. And I'm gonna show you how you can get the stealth mode in, through system preferences. All you just do is go over to general. And you can just either switch it to light or dark. And I kind of like the dark look. It looks better with certain dark backgrounds. So pretty cool with the um, new background that comes with Mojave. And you even got the dynamic desktop. I usually like the dark one, the steel dark of the Mojave, which is the Mojave Knight. Yeah, I still got the same backgrounds from Sierra and High Sierra on this computer. But no real big changes in the, in the desktop backgrounds. But, but there's a cool, unique thing you can do that you could turn on or off which has something to do with the dot as you see I got calculator open and I'm gonna go ahead and completely close it out so what I'm gonna be doing here is we're gonna there's a setting which is let's go through the dock settings here you can disable that recent applications in the dock. I like to have mine disabled. And what's so unique about Mac OS Mojave is you don't have to go through the app store to do these certain updates or system updates. You can go to system preferences and you should see software update. And I have mine enabled to automatically update, so I ain't got to worry about manually updating it. Which is pretty cool to have the system updates and the, uh, the actual updates and the system preferences. But for app updates, you, gotta go, you still have to go through the App Store, even though this is the full redesigned App Store. So no updates available. And you can still get to all your fa download all your favorite apps and whatnot. Pretty impressive redesign though. You can actually go by categories. But I already got the programs that serve all my basic needs. And Office 2019 actually recently came out, which is the standalone version of Microsoft Office for both Windows and Mac. And I'm still using Office 2016 because it still works. As long as it, as long as 2016 works perfectly fine 
on Mojave. I can still do all my basic needs, but if I decide to get the home and business version of Office, Microsoft Office, then I'll go ahead and buy the Office 2019 if I feel like it, but ain't really much to worry about because I'm planning on working on getting a newer camera so we can improve our video quality on, on future videos for YouTube. So stay tuned for that, but uh, that's not part of the video. You do get a newer version of Safari, I believe, which I don't even have it in the dock. I don't even use Safari to begin with. I use third party. Oh, we ain't gonna keep that. I'm gonna use Fire, keep Firefox. Let's just open up Apple just for demonstration purposes. Oh, I want to mention something, what you can do in um, Mojave. Is that if you have different pictures and documents and on the desktop, you can actually put it, it'll actually form it in one group. Let me copy and paste some documents, for instance. But it does move everything to, to my snag it because I use that pro very useful program. All you just do is hit use stacks and guess what? You can do that with any type of file that's on your desktop. And it has a new and improved snapshot editor. And this is just a little short video, so hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.